Hello everyone, welcome to Cassiano Easy Math. Today's video is about solving another exponential equation. 125 to the 6th power to the power of x equals the square root of 5. And we're going to find for the value of x. And before we start, for those new to my channel or for those who have not subscribed to my channel yet, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate that. And now, let's start solving the equation. So, 125 to the 6th power to the power of x equals the square root of 5. So, first thing to do in solving this kind of equation is to, to find a common base. And that's what we're going to do. And left side of the equation is 125, that's the base. And the other side is the square root of 5. So, we need to find the common base. And uh, if we focus our attention on the left side of the equation, that is 125, it could be written the same way as 5 to the third power. And the square root of 5 could be written the same way as 5 raised to 1 half power. That's the equivalent uh, in exponential form. Let's substitute those values into this equation. So the left side of the equation now is uh, 5 cubed raised to the 6th power to the power of x is equal to square root of 5 is 5 raised to 1 half power. And from here, we'll be multiplying the uh, exponent from the exponent rule. 8, 8 to the n raised to n is equal to a raised to m times n. So from here, this is now 5 raised to 3 times 6 to the power x equals to 5 raised to power 1 half. And now we have achieved our goal. We have common base. In that sense, we'll be equating the exponents since they have the same base. That is according to the formula a to the b is equal to a to the c therefore b is equal to c so the equation now becomes 3 times 6 to the power x is equal to 1 half and from here if you notice so to, we get rid of the denominator of 2 multiply the whole equation by 2 so this is now 2 times 3 times 6 to the power x is equal to 2 over 2 or equal to 1. Simplify the equation 2 times 3 is 6 times 6 to the power x is equal to 1. And from here could be 1 could be written the same way as 6 to the power 0 since any number raised to 0 is 1. Alright so the equation now 6 times 6 to the power x equals 6 to the power 0. Now we focus on the left side of the equation. We are using the uh, another rule of uh, exponent that is a raised to m times a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. So we're using that on this left side of the equation. The 6 right here is considered 6 to the power of 1. So the equation, the left side of the equation would be written the same way as 6 to the power of x plus 1 equals 6 to the power 0. And once again, they have the same base. This, this simply means the exponent can be equated. So x plus 1 equals to 0. Simplify this equation. x is equal to negative 1. So that's the answer. From here, if we were to check our solution, we have to supply the value of x on here. The original equation, 125 to the power of 6 to the power of x equals the square root of 5. Substitute the value of x, which is negative 1. So we have here the original equation, 125 raised to the 6th power to the power of x is equal to square root of 5. And we're using the value of x, which is negative 1. So the equation now becomes... With the x substituted, the value of x is 125 
time raised to the sixth power raised to x that is raised to negative one equals square root of five. 125 now raised to six to the negative power of one that is raised to one over six. So we're using the uh, the negative exponent rule that is uh, a negative m equal to 1 over a positive m. This is what happened to this exponent right here. It now becomes 1, 6. And now 125 is the same as 5 cubed. This is 5 cubed that is raised to 1 over 6 and that's square root of 5. And from here we are multiplying the exponent. So that is 5 raised to the 3 over 6 is equal to square root of 5. Now the exponent 3 over 6, 5 raised to 3 over 6 is 1 half and that's square root of 5. And here 5 to raised to 1 half power is the same way in the radical form that is the square root of 5. So square root of 5 is equal to square root of 5. Alright, so we have just confirmed that the value of x we found is correct. x, negative 1. And so that's all for now. And uh, for those new to my channel, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.